To enable Azure SAML single sign-on for LucidPress, you'll need admin privileges in both Azure and LucidPress. The first step is to log into LucidPress. As an admin, you can click on this admin tab. Click on Identity Management. You'll want to change the sign-in options to include SAML authentication. You might consider leaving email and password if you have other people using LucidPress and don't want to prevent them from logging in. After the integration with Azure is complete, you can come back to this page and change it to only SAML. This includes the default authentication. Then click Configure next to SAML. In Domain, you'll type in your organization name. If I was setting this up for Walmart, I would type Walmart. Uh, that's all you need to do on this page for now. We'll come back to this page to upload the XML. Log into Azure and go to the section where you can manage your Azure Active Directory. Then click on Enterprise Applications. Click New Application. Currently, we do not have an existing application, so you'll click Create Your Own Application on the top left. Type in LucidPress. You'll notice we don't have an existing application. Click Create, and this will take a couple of minutes. Select Set Up Single Sign-On, then click SAML. Under Basic SAML Configuration, you're going to click Edit. You'll adjust the identifier to be lucidpress.com and make sure you click on default. Under the reply URL, you're going to type in lucidpress.app.com slash SAML slash SSO slash your domain. That domain is the same thing that you entered in to LucidPress. You can copy and paste that same URL for the sign-on URL. Then click Save. You'll get a notification that the default reply URL needs to be fixed. Just click on that notification. And then we're going to adjust the reply URL to add another URL. Um, and instead, we're going to remove the word app. And so the rest of the URL should look exactly the same. So it's just lucidpress.com slash SAML. And then we'll click Save. Everything should be configured now for your uh, single sign-on. Um, I don't recommend testing it with Azure, but you'll use LucidPress instead. Now you'll go up to the SAML signing certificate and you'll download the XML file. You're going to upload this XML file to LucidPress underneath the identity providers. Before you test the SAML connection, make sure that you go back in Azure and add any users or specific groups that need to be assigned to the LucidPress app. You can now test out the SAML connection.